Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to set up the WhatsApp webhook. To send a message to anybody, we can use any of the front-end framework or you can use the postman. But in order to receive the messages from the user, you need to implement a webhook. Last year, I created uh, three videos regarding the webhook. So first one, I am covering what is webhook. So second one I implemented and third one I hosted. So in this tutorial, I am going to create a short video. So I am going to my github page. So this is the project I created in the last year. So I just click this project. Webhook for WhatsApp Cloud API. I just click code and I just click clone link. So this is the link for this project. So I am going to my VS code and open the terminal. I just type git clone and the link. I clone the project successfully. If you add .env file inside the .ignore file, that prevent this .env file uploading into the cloud. So if you are working any of the production based application, better you add this line. But in my case, I just need this one. I just clear this one. And actually I am out of the directory. So if you type ls, you can see I am in that out of this directory. So I need to go inside the directory. So now I am going to use npm install but in my PC I am having some configuration issue because of that I am using sudo npm install but in your case you can use npm install. So it has been a long time guys so I just click this uh, npm audit fix force and I just type sudo and I paste it. Okay some of my dependencies got updated I guess yes so I just close this one. I clone this project from the repository because of that if I type git status I can see what are the files getting modified but in my case I don't want this kind of things I mean I don't want previous commits I just type rm-rf.git so I just hit enter so this will delete the existing git in your project so now I am going to my github and I just click new and new repository so I am going to name this repository description is optional one I just click the private and I just click create repository project and I am going to add git init so now I am going to type git add now I just type git commit first commit So now I am copying these last three commands and make sure to copy without any of the space in the starting point. I just copied and I am pasting here and hit enter. Okay, I push all of my files in my repository. So if you refresh, you guys see this got updated. So now I am going to Heroku. So why I am always choosing the Heroku is this is a cheaper plan at the same time. This is good for your project. So this is my Heroku dashboard. So if you don't have any Heroku accounts, just register to this Heroku. So once you come to this dashboard, click new and click create new app. Here I want to name this project. So I name this one as tutorial webhook WhatsApp. So I just click create app. Last time I use Heroku JIT, but in this time I'm going to use GitHub because I already set up a GitHub for this project. I select the github you guys see in the bottom right so I need to name this repository so I just copy this one and paste it here and search okay this is a project guys I just click connect so in this case I am choosing the main branch because as of now I am only having the main branch but if you want any development or other kind of branches you can create it and I just click enable automatic deploys so now I just click deploy branch The application deployed successfully. In past two years, I consulted a lot of businesses to get the things done in the WhatsApp Cloud API, such as setting the dashboard and getting the verification, at the same time developing the customized application for the businesses. For any kind of development work, you can contact me. Then we can start to working on your application. So just go to the YouTube channel and select the this one hey developers and you guys see this is my LinkedIn I'm going to the settings because I need to set up the config bars 
I just click reveal config was so if you go to our code and click the dot env file first one is a token I just copy this one and paste it here this token is coming from the cloud API so I just expand the whatsapp and I just click API setup I am copying this temporary access token I just click copy and go to that uh, settings and paste the token so I just click add and then I need to set up this my token so my token is can be anything right so I just copy and paste it here and I just leave it as apple and I just click add so now I am going to that dashboard and I just click configuration in the new tab in the configuration so you guys see there's edit option so I just click this button here I need to pass the callback URL so again I am going to this dashboard I just click open app so I am copying this link and go to that configuration and paste it and slash web hook that's all and here I need to type the verify token so in this case the verify token is apple so it can be anything you need to follow this text I just copy this one and paste it here and now I am click verify and serve so now we successfully verify the webhook the second step is I just click manage and here we need to subscribe which event we need to notify in our webhook so in this case that is messages I just click the messages and I just click done so I am going to the Heroku and I just click more and view logs so now I can see webhook is listening so I am going to the dashboard choosing my mobile number so once I choose my mobile number I just click send successfully send the message so now if I go to that uh, webhook you guys see this is listening all the events here so you guys see I receive this hello world template so once I type hi I am going to that webhook logs and I can see I am getting the message as hi and I can see lot of events is triggering that because there are lot of stages for example we are sending the message and delivered the message and seen the message so because of that we are getting a continuous kind of a loop so it is not a loop actually this is a different kind of events right so don't confuse this one so this is working perfectly but uh, we might confuse because of this continuous logs right so this is a message I sent from my whatsapp number so if you don't know what is the logic behind this one you can read this code so if it is difficult for you so I already mentioned I created uh, three videos regarding this implementation and the hosting you can watch this one at the same time so I am going to cover all of the webhook and some of the example in the future so and please make sure to subscribe guys and this is only help I am requesting from you and thank you so much mm -hmm.